Good afternoon, Los Santos. This is Seamus Wishbone with Weasel News here at 732, otherwise known as our Weasel Studios. We got the weekly scoop coming at you today. We have new canine units coming to the city. We also have a new hookah lounge. So we're going to have Jartavis out there getting the scoop. And uh, we have a very special, special interview behind the scenes that one of the criminal activities happening in the city. But I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I'm going to send you out there with Jartavius Franklin III interviewing some nice folks just trying to brighten up the community. Jartavius, are you there? What's good, ladies and gentlemen? We out here with uh, Tony Valentino. How are you doing today, Mr. Valentino? I'm doing perfect. How about yourself, Jartavius? I'm doing great, man. I'm uh, happy to hear you guys are out here uh, trying to clean up the streets. Is that what I hear? Trying oh, to clean yeah, the neighborhood? Oh, yeah, sure, man. We hear there's gunshots here, drug dealing. We're not we're not the big bag, bad MC as everyone thinks, man. We just want to make this place better, safer, you know? So what are you That's doing to, to do accomplish here. that mission? We're going to pass out flyers, have a petition, try to get these gangs out of here, man. Sure. Do our best just to make this place cleaner. Okay, for sure, for sure. So who are you giving these flyers out to, bro? Just all the citizens? Yeah, all the citizens, all the locals, whoever wants one. So usually they like to steal them from me because they don't like they don't like that I'm trying to make this place safer because, you know, their money is dirty money, you know? So sometimes they'll steal it from me, but there's good people out there that are trying to make a difference just like us. Okay, and are are you asking for donations to help improve this neighborhood? No. Oh, so Everything, this is all coming every, out of the MC's pocket. Yeah, it's all coming out of my pocket, the MC's pocket, everyone's pocket. That's part of the MC. Well, that's a beautiful thing you guys are doing. Of course, man. We do anything for the city. Excuse me, sir. Well, would you like a flyer? Don't mind me. You don't? Okay. Have a good one. Well, I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, the citizens here are really going to appreciate them uh, trying to clean up this neighborhood, get these gangs out. You know, there's been... I've been told this place is called the trenches, not somewhere you want to live. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get an inside look here on what exactly they're trying to improve. Excuse me, sir. Would you like a flyer? You want to make this place a little better? You do? Perfect. Here you go, man. Trying to make this place safer. So what was that you just did, uh, Mr. Valentino? I asked him if he'd like a flyer. He said he would. He would like to see what's about it. Tell him what it's about. Basically, I just told him it's rebuilding better neighborhoods for Los Santos. Try to get the gangs out of here. And he's with it, man. He's one of the residents here. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and get a look inside some of these apartment buildings here. See how bad these people are living. Oh, I would, yeah. I would like to add that twice yesterday we were out here handing out flyers. And apparently we were called in for, for suspicious behavior. And yeah. the police responded. And we explained to the police what they were doing. They were very supportive and uh, told us to keep up the good work, but apparently there's a lady right over there in like 3C that every time she sees us out here, she likes to call and report that there's suspicious yeah. behavior. But, uh, oh. you know, as we, you know, we showed the cops our flyers that we got made up and, and they took a look at it and said everything looked legit and keep up the good work. So, you know, we're just out here doing the best we can for the neighborhood. See, that, that sounds racist to me. That definitely sounds racist to me that they're calling you guys in, trying to clean up their exactly. neighborhood. You know, you don't well, even live here. You're not a resident here, are you? No, no we're not. No. Oh, what I noticed is, man, is, is we go all over this city and, you know, it's like uh, everywhere we go, we get called in for suspicious behavior. And, you know, I think people see our MC cuts and, you know, we put people on edge and make them a little nervous. Exactly. And we're, we're always dealing with the police and, you know, they're always uh, questioning us about suspicious behavior and... You know, we're, we're trying to change that image out here today. Come on, officers. Just because they got a just because they got a cut on doesn't mean they're up to no good. Look, look into your look into your heart, officer. Look in the mirror. Just because you got that badge on. Do you really believe you're a good person? See, it goes both ways. Well, walk, walk right here with me, Jar. And uh, let me let me show you what we're trying to improve. OK, for sure. I asked the owner of this building if we could uh, check out me, the sir. open apartment. Can, we, can we go in and take a look? All right, we appreciate that. Thank you, kind citizen. Oh my goodness! These are the conditions that this, we're man. trying to. You know, okay, uplift, sir? Uh, we're trying to uplift the neighborhood, and right, you know, man. At the other end of the building here, man, they got meth laying out. It's all bagged up. There's, the there's fire, bro. like the pot and all kind of drugs all throughout this place, and. You know, we, we want to get some people in here, get the floor swept, and uh, you know, get the get the garbage taken out. Maybe some new furniture for, for these people. It's all about our new community outreach program we're going to be doing, 
and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna do this down at the boardwalk and and get petitions made up to uh, get the boardwalk repainted, the sidewalks up at the Asian Market repaired, and uh, we're gonna be doing all kind of community work doing? all over the city pretty soon here. So oh my goodness, you know, what, guys, God bless you for you guys are doing God's work right now, helping these people out of the kindness of your heart, and I really appreciate that on behalf of every citizen here in the state. We all appreciate it. Hey, we appreciate y'all coming out and putting some coverage on these poor people's lives, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you got to hear inside look of some of the lower class citizens here in uh, Los Santos. Go ahead. Get with these guys here if you want to try and help out the city. They'll give you some flyers. I'm more than sure to help spread the word. This is Hustle Gang. Doing a car boost. You know how it'd be. The little life of a thug. What? A what are thief. you doing? <laughs> what? What are you Ooh. This is officially the first Vice story we're doing on Weezy News, so congrats, you guys. Okay, cut that out, cut that out, cut that out. <laughs> you know, it, luckily it, for you, it. your windows are so tinted, I can't see a thing, so okay, I didn't see good, what we're happened. Good. We're doing, nah, we're doing a news recording of our car boost. I do have to warn you, Seamus. People will come out of the woodworks and start shooting, so yeah, be careful. Seamus, just, oh, I'll show you where to stand, okay? The first time we didn't hit anything, shot. don't worry, we didn't hit anything. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how dangerous is this profession? Uh, not dangerous oh, not at all. Zero. I mean, people shoot yeah. at you, it's pretty dangerous that, but... Listen, they're poor shots. Oh, I mean, we're, we're actually just god shooters, so... We just one-tap them all. You're talking on the radio, I think. Okay, without, uh, without giving too much away, what can you tell us about this, uh, so-called car boosting? Uh, you steal fun. a car, and you could sell it or keep it. For crypto. So basically... Take a lockpick. Obviously, you open the car, bring it to the undisclosed location, boom. You sell it or you keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it is. Right where the house is. Look. Alright, so now the car boosting has been successful. Uh, they've been shot at, but they're fine. So what, what's now? Just uh, getting away, getting going to sell it? Are the get cops going to come in after the tracker. you? Get in the tracker off the car. Okay, so there's a tracker on the vehicle. Is that uh, alerting authorities? Yep. How long does it take to get off that tracker? Uh, it depends. If you're good, like we are, it'll only take like 30 seconds. Some people it'll take five minutes. Wow, wow, that's a big difference in skill there. Yes, sir. And your position right now, what is it? Just to provide backup if necessary? Yep, yeah, I'm on call in case the cops ended up getting on them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I can tell you for now. We haven't been giving that much information. We've been let go back at our weasel van. And I hope you enjoyed this little intro into car boost and what it's all about here in Los Santos. Have a good night. Stay safe, everybody. Seamus Wishbone here in front of MRPD. I'm here with Chief Yearwood. How are you doing, Chief? I'm good, Seamus. How are you doing tonight? Doing good, doing good. So we just wanted to have a little update here. We here through the grapevine that K-9 units are coming to LSPD. Is that true? Uh, you did hear correct. Uh, the K-9s are actually in obedience training, getting all their uh, their noses tuned to uh, some of the illegal activities in the, in the city, and uh, our officers are being trained as well uh, as we speak. That is wonderful, exciting news for the people here in Los Santos. So are we expecting to see these on every officer? Uh, no, not every officer is going to be trained. It's... Uh, you're going to be uh, required a special uh, special rank and uh, classification to to run and run a K9 unit. Wonderful, wonderful news. Okay, so when do you think we're expecting the K9s to arrive? Um, I I have to talk to the trainers uh, still, uh, but uh, hopefully hopefully soon. Hopefully it's very soon. Okay, that sounds good. Are, do you know the race of the K9s yet? By the way, just curious. Uh, they're uh, German Shepherds. Well, you heard it here first, folks. We're getting canine units in LSPD. Be prepared to see them rolling up in the passenger seat of these black and white cars. This is Seamus Wishbone sending an MRPD with Chief Yearwood. On to the next segment. Yo, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's Jartavis here giving you a little sneak peek and some new entertainment in town. We out here at the Hookah Lounge, owned by the Esco Bros, you know what I'm saying? We don't really know what it's about. We're going to get into it, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, stay tuned, we're about to give you an inside scoop.
Yo, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? We out here with one of the owners of the new hookah bar. How you doing, my boy? Hey, I'm doing well, man. I'm doing great. How about yourself? Shit, bro. Fabulous as always. You already know how we coming, man. So, uh, what you looking to bring into the city with this hookah bar, bro? Hey, I'm I'm here to, you know, provide citizens a place to hang out, network. Uh, yeah, you know for real. I, mean? I fuck with that shit. Yup. And some fucking shisha, bro. You know what I'm saying? Without... You know, come come smoke, uh, come blow O's with the Esco Bros without stepping on anyone's toes. If you know what I mean. Shit, I fuck with that. I fuck with the uh, I fuck with the flavor too. What we got right now? This white gummy. Yeah, we got the Fumari white gummy bear right now. You know, we got the coals all hot. The foils all. You know, we got foil, clean hoses, clean waters. Uh, you you name it. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I must say this little sneak peek for what's to come. Stay tuned. We're going to have a full segment on these boys coming up here shortly. But y'all want to come get your little hookah session on or something? Shit, come on down to 634. Let's go, bros. Hookah. Let's go. Well, thank you for that. And I hope you all enjoyed our weekly scoop. It was a little bit longer this time because our stories were just so, so interesting this week. If anybody else wants to be on our next weekly scoop, make sure to let us know. Just hit me up or anybody that works at Weasel. We're always looking to get the next story that's out there. But anyways, this is Seamus Wishbone signing out from Weasel News. Have a good night, everybody.